one of my favorite Moodle plugins that I only came across about a year or so ago is the filter codes plugin. So on the plugins page, it's a filter and it's called filter codes. And this is an absolutely wonderful, dead simple, but a really, really wonderful and useful little plugin. What it allows me to do is to very easily add personalization to the course. So in this case, it's saying, welcome Dave Ford. It recognizes who the user is and it puts their name in as part of the welcome message. If I just bring up my student screen, you can see here it says, welcome Dave student, because that's the name of my student account. What I've also got is I've created a your details block. So it tells the user what their name is, what their preferred language is, their time zone, and then what the time is at the moment based on that time zone. I work on a lot of international projects where we've got people all over the world. So having their time zone set correctly is really important. So I show this to them so that they can then check that the time zone that is stored within the system matches their actual time zone. And in this case, I've added in edit buttons to make it easy for them to edit them from here um, as part of that process. Now, the way that the filter codes work is once you've installed the plugin and you've turned it on, if you add sort of text that appears between curly brackets, it will then replace that with the dynamic code. So if you if you've turned filter codes on and you put curly bracket first name, close curly bracket anywhere on the page, it will display the first name of the user. If you do full name, it will do first name and surname as one rather than have to do it as two separate fields. So that's what I've done here is I've just got the filter code of Dave Ford and similarly up here. That's sorry, the filter code of full name. It therefore shows my name um, and really, really easy to do. So if I just quickly go to my home screen and then I turn editing on. So all that I've done for this your details block is your name is, and then you can see I've got the filter code in the brackets, your language is, and then one of the filter codes is preferred language, and your time zone is currently set as, and then it's got the time zone. And then the last one, it shows the, the current time based on their time zone. So that's dead easy to do. I've added that as a block and then made the block appear throughout the site. What we can also do with our filter codes is we can pull course information. So what I've got here on this sort of thing at the top of my course, that image there is actually being pulled as a filter code from the image that's been uploaded as a course image. The course summary, which is that text there, is what is appearing in this line here. That's being dynamically pulled. And then this last bit, which says this course is expected to take and then 12 weeks. Well, the 12 weeks is being pulled from something called a course custom field. So I've got a course custom field called course duration. I, as the teacher, have added 12 weeks in, and then that is automatically put into that box at the top. So the key to this is that a site admin could set up a template where you have this appearing at the top. And then all the tutor has to do is edit the text that appears in the course summary, upload an image. And then in this case, if they're using course custom fields, in the course custom fields, you put in whatever you want. And then it will automatically put that data into the top of the course without the person, the teacher, having to do any of this side of things. And then another neat little trick is this little help icon has again been created using filter codes. So if I just go back to the filters codes page and it, it, it just shows you all the different things that you can apply and you'll see there are loads and loads of different things here. But one of them under content is the help thing. So anything between the help and then the closing help sort of brackets will appear as a help thing. And then what I've done is I've actually put filter code items within that. So it will actually show them the username, the city, the country uh, next to the person's name. So you can actually put additional information in, um, which I find very useful to save cluttering the screen up. You can just have help things that people can click on if they want further information. If you are using filter codes, 
you have to make sure that the filters are turned on. So you go to the course and then filters, and then you have filter codes and make sure it's turned on. Otherwise it won't work and you'll just see the filter codes appearing as text. I'm Dave Ford. If you wish to get in touch, then please look at my contact details on the screen. I'm based in the UK, but I work with organizations all over the globe, providing consultancy, training and resource development services, mainly in the areas of Moodle and Tatara.